Hey folks, I'm gonna do a quick what I eat in a day video today. Uh, I'm starting the day with a juice and uh, we'll go from there. I'll show you every morsel that I consume throughout the day. So we're starting with a juice. Everything's going through the Omega. So we've got some cucumbers, celery, carrot, apple, beetroot, ginger. Um, anything else? Kale? Lemon. Lemon. And we'll have about a pint of juice each. So when you put beetroot in the juice, it comes out a really pinky color. Uh, there's plenty of greens in this, but it's pink because of the beetroot. Wow, it's really good. What a great way to start the day. So in here we've got some oats, bananas, flax, chia, a bit of sugar, some dried fruits, goji berries, pumpkin seeds. Um, and a dash of rice milk. Of all the activities that I've done as a part of this whole eczema healing process, my still number one tip is get a bike and ride up hills. And if you're in a dry climate, then I would suggest rugging up warm. And um, especially if the, if the weather's cold, you have trouble sweating. I always feel better after the ride. I just feel like my lymph has kind of cleared out. Um, sinuses just feel good. Breathing is better. Exercise is so crucial to just overall health. And overall health is what gets us free of eczema and stuff. So fruit is a bit low for me at the moment. Um, got a few bananas, got a few oranges, but I kind of want to space them out and not have any fruit only meals. So I'm going to have more oats. Oats number two for me. Sarah's having the other vegan option. <laughs> Everything's vegan. Bagel, strawberry jam. That's vegan, high carb, low fat. That's vegan, high carb, low fat. But obviously, there's a difference. There's a difference. Just having a little glass of orange juice. Probably about two, 300 mils. Meal number three, four, whatever it is. Um, having some rice and broccoli and sweet corn. Um, and I'm putting some of this sauce with it. Just have a couple of spoons of this sauce. It says sauce for lemon chicken, but there's no chicken in it. Um, 0.81 grams per hundred of salt. So it's pretty low in salt. Bowl number two. Tonight's dinner is going to be a, what is it? Shepherd's pie? Vegetable shepherd's pie. Veggie shepherd's pie. This is the kind of stuff that's going in. I don't think this is everything. That potato looks a bit dodgy. Yeah, we'll cut out the bag. Just prepping everything for the pie. Got some kale and mushrooms, a whole bunch of different stuff. And what have we got in this one? <laughs> uh, oh, sweet potatoes. This will be the mash for the top. Mm -mm -mm. All going in this uh, Pyrex dish. about done with dinner that's the results that's what we're left with <laughs> so dinner's done day is done quite a high calorie day today I had about three servings of that pie it was really good and um, what else did I have today the oats the juice in the morning the rice um, not particularly active just a hungry day sometimes there's days like that and you have 3,000, 3,500 calories. Other days, it's less. Listen to your body on that. Never stuff it in, but always make sure you're well carved up from good sources and it can keep you away from the things that you'll regret eating. Thanks again for watching. If you like this style of video and you want to see more What I Eat videos, give this video a thumbs up. If you don't like this style, you want to see just training videos, whatever, thumbs down and leave a comment below. Leave a comment below what you want to see, what you want to see. Um, health comes from within and we want to share this message. We want to get the message out to everybody that has eczema or psoriasis or whatever. And we want them to know that the healing process starts from within our own decisions, our choices that we make each day. So thanks again for your support.